Alex, you know, you had a huge game last night, followed up with uh, another start tonight. Was that sort of your call, or did the coaching staff let you know this morning that it was go time for you? Um, it was a little bit of both. Um, you know, we had discussed, I talked with Steve a little bit before we made the decision, you know, to, to do this. And, um, you know, we looked at the schedule, had a lot of games at home. And, um, you know, I, obviously, like I guess, you know, like I've been saying, I haven't played a lot, obviously. So mm-hmm. any chance I could to, to get in the net, you know, I was going to take it. Um, you know, I felt good after last night's game, woke up, felt good. So I was like, why not? You know, um, I've done it before, you know, and I've had plenty of rest, obviously, the last four weeks mm-hmm. to be able to go to, to go again tonight. So. Yeah, you touched on, uh, you know, not playing in a while. And you go from that to three starts in a week, including back-to-back. So when you transition from zero to 60 like that, is it more of a physical or a mental challenge for you? It's everything. You know, obviously, it's, uh, you know, practices are practices. You you know, you work hard in practice and all that, but, you you know, you never get the mm-hmm. same intensity out of a, you know, out of a practice as you do out of a game. And then, um, you know, vice versa, same thing. Or same thing with, you know, the mental side of the game. Um you know, you're going to give up goals in practice. You face 200 shots or whatever it might be, you know, um, you know, throughout the hour, hour and a half. And then now you face anywhere from 20 to 40 shots, usually a night. And, you know, any one of them can go in and any one of them could be the game winner. So the the mental pressure obviously is, uh, you know, is amped up. So a little bit of both. Yeah. And then, you know, everything happens at a different level in the American League as opposed to the National. Obviously, the puck looks all the same here, but... Uh, you know, when you're going back and forth, do you kind of make any big adjustments to your game, or is it just kind of business as usual for you? Like you said, it's, it's the same puck, same net, same ice surface. So just try to stop the puck. Sure. Um, you have a lot of young defensemen in front of you here in Grand Rapids that have only been here in North America for a couple of months. Um, when you got a young group like that, how does it change how you approach your game in the net? It doesn't. You know, my job stays the same, stop the puck. Um, you know they're young. They're you know they're gonna make some mistakes, uh, but that's how you learn. That's how you grow. Um, obviously, I was uh, in that same boat in my position. You know, my first couple of years in the league too. So it's uh, you know you're gonna make mistakes, but uh, I'd rather guys be be trying hard and, and working hard and and making an effort type play and, and messing up than just kind of going through the motions and, and being afraid to make mistake. Coach, after a good showing last night, the uh, stars were kind of all over you guys in that first period. Um, what did you guys get away from that made you so successful last night? Uh, you know, it's, it's just a, obviously if we knew what what the issues, is, we would have corrected it. But I, I just thought we got off to a little bit of a slow start. Puck management wasn't great to begin with, uh, and just staying above guys. We weren't. Uh, you know, they got some guys who can skate, especially on the back end. I don't think we did a great job of staying above guys, and then. Just uh, the urgency to, to collapse a little to help out in the D zone. I thought we were a little bit lackadaisical early, and uh, they had generated some chances off the rush and in the in their our D zone, their O zone. That goes from waiting the wings in Detroit to getting three games in a back to back in a week. Um, how does he handle himself in practice and in the locker room for you, given that opportunity? I think he's handled himself tremendously. Obviously, for from where he came from, what he's worked to get to, and then to. to come back down here and to agree to the conditioning assignment. I thought that uh, you know, he came and he wanted to play. He wanted to play as much as he can. He wanted to find his game. Uh, after the game last night, he came and we, we talked and he, he wanted to play again tonight. And I think he deserved it as long as he's, uh, you know, he has, hasn't has played three games in four nights in a long time. But, uh, you know, as long as he's ready to go, uh, I think he's earned the, the opportunity to continue to play. For sure. And, you know, Sykes is a team that's been up at the top of the standings for a while now. You guys. Three point, three out of four points on this weekend. Um, what do you see that they do so well that your team could try and mimic? Well, they've got a again. The, they've got great decor. They're very mobile back there. But I mean, you, you look at their decor. They got a, a staple guy that plays heavy and hard in Petrovic, and then you've got Butcher, you've got Gleason, you've got uh, oh, geez, who am I forgetting here? I, I mean, Gleason, Butcher, regardless. Uh, very mobile, very offensive minded, and they they jump in the rush all the time. They they create four man attacks all the time, and then they're extremely active in the ozone. Um, and then finally, for me, when a game goes into a shootout, you know, especially in a couple extra rounds, uh, what's the thought process? How do you pick a guy who goes up next? We do shootouts a lot in practice, so you know you kind of evaluate where guys were in their game tonight. Are they feeling it? Are they looking great? Uh, how they've done previously? We you know we've got statistics in in years prior. Uh, historically, uh, and maybe someone's having a great night. So, you know, there's a lot of stuff to go into it. And then, uh, you know, you always get input from the players or the, or the other coaches as well. And now we'll go to Elaine on Zoom. 
<clears throat> Hi, Coach. Um, what do you think worked in that third period? It seemed like that first goal kind of set them on fire, and then you guys just really finished strong. I, I, I think the simplicity of the way we scored that goal. And, you know, uh, congratulations to, to Drew Roy on, on his first goal here. Uh, low to high, uh, Vero gets it towards the net. We create traffic at the net, and it's tipped in. So it's, it's really not uh, – a highly skilled play that just takes hard work and taking away the goalie's eyes. So I thought, uh, you know, a double layer screen causing a little commotion. And once you get a, a team's defensive zone posture to, to shift and switch, they get pucks towards that and the goalie can't see it. Obviously uh, it makes it difficult. So you know, not rocket science. I think that that, you know, that, that simplicity was, you know, it's repetitive. It's a, you know, we talk about consistent simplicity all the time. And if we do that, you know, we tend to have success. Yeah, no, um, a lot of hard work went into that second goal, um, scored at a really incredible angle. Um, if you can kind of talk about just like the, the work they put in, especially in the last like five minutes. Yeah, no, well, again, it, it's just that, that I think speaks to hopefully the, the corner that we're turning here, the determination of the group where, you know, we get down by two, we're, we're not going to panic too much. We have a belief in each other and, you know, the one shot away. So I, I think that's uh, obviously Taco, uh, great chip by him and his entire line. I actually didn't see the goal uh, initially because I was trying to figure out uh, who was going out for six on five there. But I uh, have to save that game plan for a later day. <laughs> um, and then just one more from me, uh, special teams. They, I mean, they look good this weekend. Um, how do you think they did? Well, you know, I thought our power play struggled last year. Obviously, we scored a goal at the end of a power play, and then uh, I, I don't think it was clicking on all cylinders this week. Um, I thought the PK was a lot more efficient than it has been in games prior, and you know, I think at the end of the day, your, your goaltender is your best penalty killer, and I think that Neds did a really good job uh, on the PK, and that, you know, the, the one we gave up tonight was a hell of a shot by a, a guy that could shoot a puck. Yeah. Perfect. That's it for me. Okay. That's it, Ben. Thank you very much.